who actually provide evidence for what they believe the actions they're commit they're doing. Yeah. Does that make sense? So if there's an action we're doing and we're saying that look, uh, this is what Islam teaches, we have a way of verifying this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is this action mentioned in the Quran? Okay. Is this action mentioned and shown by the Prophet Muhammad, which is called within the Sunnah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because you might have heard of Quran and Sunnah. So yeah. Islam is based on um, the verbatim word of Allah in the Quran, yeah. as well as the actions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, what he taught, how he behaved, yeah. what he permitted. Right? Yeah, yeah. Now, through that, we can see that look, that the actions have been preserved through a science of um, hadith. How we preserve hadith, right? Which are the action statements of the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. We have entire science for that. The Quran has been preserved through a oral tradition. Yeah. yeah. Of we have over 200 million people who have memorized the Quran word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. Okay. That's 200 p 200 million. Yeah, more than any other book in the in the world, isn't it? I would I argue. I've, I've heard that before as well. About I would Quran. argue there's no religious scripture that's been memorized word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. Isn't there like less than less than a million people that have re remembered the Bible word for word or something like that? I, I would argue that they haven't actually memorized it because yeah. that's not a claim they make. Yeah. Because um, speaking to non-Muslims, I've realized that they can't actually agree on a Bible, which Bible to memorize. The Catholics got 66 books. Yeah. Christians have got 72 books in the yeah. Bible. It's like, okay, which one, which one do I memorize? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, the Quran is the only religious scripture that claims, that hasn't been edited. Now, let me provide my evidence, which is objectively true. Um, yeah. have, have a lovely conversation with your brother. Yeah. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna go. I'm gonna get a book from from uh, Yusuf. No book, <laughs> a perfectly a... preserved divine scripture, which I'm just mentioning to your brother, which you can verify yeah, if well, you. Thank you very look, much. No problem, pleasure. Thank you very much. Google Quran, to, uh, Birmingham manuscript. Okay. okay. You see, non-Muslim right. academics yes, are saying how it's been yeah, preserved. Yeah, yeah. Non-Muslim yeah. academics. Yeah. So now, if there's an action and it's like, oh, this is what Muslims, this is what Islam teaches. Prove yeah, it. All right. Yeah. We've got Just ways like of proving it. Now, how do I understand the Quran? When, from the last it's not I open, I'm like, hmm, this is what it what means to me. Or oh, this is what I what feel. Or oh, the Holy Spirit is guiding me. No. I don't understand this it's Sorry. how um, did the Prophet, peace be upon him, understand this? Yeah. Yeah. The true interpretation. The true interpretation. His how does, initially, how does the Quran um, explain it? Because one verse continue, connects to another verse. Does it make sense? So, yeah. first, originally, we would understand it through. Come, come, join well, me, brother Yusuf. Yeah. How do I again, Yusuf? Thank you. Yeah. you. Yeah. How do I know what, which, what is uh, Prophet Muhammad's uh, mm. interpretation? Peace be upon That's through again you've through the him, hadith. You got him already. Huh? <laughs> no, no, you got him already. He no. said peace be upon him. I just said that with respect. <laughs> because I didn't say I respect. Him <laughs> no, no, and and that's good because at the end of the day, yeah. Let me not get distracted, but. I don't know. Like the, 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 no, 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 it's good because these things here, yeah, you guys are very respectful people. And I've realized, you know, Islam will enter the hearts of like people with good hearts. Who resonate with the, with the values because they're true values. About. The true values, but generally, you, you know what you initially started off with, right? Yeah. Generally, we believe in this concept called the fitrah. Everyone fitrah. is born upon the natural inclination to good. The natural inclination to believe in a creator. Yeah. Yeah. Not multiple creators to worship one yeah. creator. Yeah. Mm. But then the society and the people, um, the community we're raising kind of indoctrinate us and change yeah. that. Yeah. But I believe the kind, genuine people have got that genuine kind of like politeness, yeah. niceness. Does yeah. that make sense? And that comes back to that connection with the creator. Because yeah. the thing is, um, I will be, with all due respect, I'm going to be kind to you because I know I'm accountable by the Creator. Yeah, yeah. If I didn't have that concept of there's some kind of inclination, yeah. then what's stopping me from stealing, murdering, rape? Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. No, I've got, there's no hell, yeah. there's no heaven, there's like, I've got nothing to lose. And society yeah. has some kind of inclination to deny this fact that people like people don't need rules and they'll be good anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have that sense that people yeah, But then you see that they, they start following their own desires, where it's like, look, they can't start dictating what they think is good or you start they start pushing like a agenda where it's like 
consumerism. Yeah. Or there's an agenda there. But going back to the question you've asked, um, how do I know? It comes back to the sciences. <coughs> we have a system where the Quran and the Hadith. Yeah, not so far, my bro. Um, a statement of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. People have narrated it through the science of preserving hadith. So it would be, okay, this person heard it from this person, heard it from this person, who heard it all the way back to the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Now, what's the science? I keep using there's a science behind it. The science is these individuals, yeah, there's like five to seven criteria. Yeah. Did they meet the Prophet? Do they have a good memory? Yeah. Do they, are they trustworthy? Do they have good character? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, these are the kind of things we take into consideration to actually say, is this an authentic hadith? Yeah, yeah. You will find there's not authentic hadith, authentically something that's been attributed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that there's anything morally or anything you're going to have an issue with. It's pure guidance because we believe he's the final messenger chosen, selected by God to articulate the final message from God. Okay. You know what I mean? Because yeah. as a Muslim, um, I believe in the pure message that was sent by to Jesus Christ, peace be upon yeah. him. The pure message that was given to Moses, peace be upon yeah. him. Yeah. The pure message that was given to Abraham and Adam and yeah. all of them. However, have they been preserved? Yeah. Unfortunately, with due respect, they haven't been. Man-made elements have gone into it. Yeah. So, and the reason for that is God sent prophets. Yeah. Yeah. After they die, the message leaves them for a book. Yeah. When the book gets corrupted, God will send another messenger, another prophet. Yeah. Yeah. And that continued up into the Prophet Muhammad because there's no more messages to come. And, and, and it's actually stated in the Quran. Then, yeah, right? yeah, 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 that's what's stated in the Quran. He's the Khatman Nabi, he's the seal of the prophets. Okay. So there's no more prophets to come. Okay. And due to him, um, because there's no more prophets to come and there's no more scripture, Allah has promised to preserve this book. Okay. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Allah hasn't promised to um, preserve the Injil. Allah didn't promise to um, protect the Torah and so on and so forth because he knew that this is going to continue going. Now, well, sorry, I was just wondering. What's your name, by the way? Connor. Connor. Ridwan. 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 Okay. Yeah. Asher. 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 Yeah, Go on, Connor. As well. Yeah, yeah. He mentioned. It. He's okay. proud. He mentioned it before yeah, yeah, yeah. you. That's my little brother. Go on, Connor. I was saying. Um. So. Um. What is there anything in place in the in um to prevent from people corrupting over time? The oath, the promise made by Allah. Because yeah. right now, Allah has said this, this Quran is from Allah and Allah will preserve it. Yeah. Yeah. And that Allah gives another challenge that um, if you have any doubt, then bring something like it. This book has no mistakes and no corruption. Yeah. So it's easy for me to say Allah has preserved it. Yeah. But I need to provide evidence for that as well. Yeah. And the evidence for that is um, there's no contradictions in it. You're not going to find no mistakes in it. When it talks about science, it gets it right. When yeah. it talks about history, it gets it right. Yeah. It makes prophecies, it comes true. Yeah, yeah. Um, the linguistic miracles, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, all of these elements just make me believe that, look, it can't be from anyone apart from God. Yeah. yeah? How do you feel about that? I feel, I mean, the thing is, I think I'd have to read the book to understand this. I'm going to give a you a free copy, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but without going through that path, before that, I would say that the, the thing that I would struggle with is, Understanding because even though Allah has made the promise, at the moment you are the messenger in this setting, and and you seem like a nice guy, but in general with all kind of religious messaging, um, it's hard to to decipher. Even like if if t if, if the message is pure, yeah, if the message is pure. If ten if ten um, people came up to me claiming to be Muslims and nine of them had a fake version of the Quran, but that's that is my. How, Do you how understand? Would you, how would you dip? But what he's saying, I think, stop me if I'm wrong, that how you would discern... Come on, actually, help me out, man. Come on, how you help. would discern between the nine from the last one is that if you really read the scripture, which yeah. I, I've realised in not just Islam, but other religions as well, yeah. that the scriptures are are shockingly accurate to things that they so-called shouldn't know or have a hard way of knowing at the time. Like you say, they're accurate to science, they're accurate to history. There's different things that can't be disputed in it. And is maybe that's what you're saying, that yeah. you should you should be able to read it and the knowledge within it is undisputable because it coincides with reality. intelligence as a human being. 
to Allah me. has made it easy to understand. Yeah. Now, what you said, I have respect for scriptures that claim to be from God. Yeah. Yeah? Right. However, just because it makes the claim is from God, and just because it has some truth in it, for me, my criteria is it has to be all true. Yeah. Yeah. We can't have, yeah, this is profoundly honest, and this is profoundly true. And this bit doesn't and, make sense. And this bit doesn't make sense. Yeah. Oh, all of this, this part is right. Why? How did you know this? How did they know this? But there's a contradiction there, and there's a mathematical error here, and he talks about history and gets it wrong. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then sure. at one point, he's claiming the world is flat, but the next part is saying that um, we should treat our neighbor true. well, and we shouldn't kill, and rape is wrong. I'm like, yeah. okay. And then it's like talking about how women are born into sin, and they give um, the punishment is yeah. the period due to the fact that they got Adam to eat the apple. Like, okay. No, no. Yeah. Islam, the book from God, you shouldn't find it difficult to reconcile. Too far removed, these, these things yeah. that you're saying. That it, too. Needs to, it needs to be consistently true. Yeah, yeah. Does it make sense? Now, you've got 10 Muslims who come up to you. Yeah. yeah? And I'm going to be honest with you, that's a genuine question, right? Yeah. Um, how would you decipher who's right, who's wrong? Whoever makes the claim and references and cite, gives citations from the Quran. Okay. From the hadith. Because what ends up happening is, right, I've had a lot of non revert um, Muslims who've just become Muslim, right? Yeah. They're like, look, fine, how do I know which one, who's true, who's right? The individual who quotes the Quran. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because I can say, look, a pious person said, you have no way of verifying this. Yeah. Pious person saw in a dream. Look, I'm so pious, look, I got a beard, I saw in a dream. Yeah. This is subjective, does it make sense? Yeah. Now, I think maybe, I don't mean to, but maybe for like a person in a position of this has no foundation of religion. You know what I mean? So like say we've been brought up and we've been told that life is life, that's that, you die, you die, nothing, yeah? Maybe the first step for a person like that, uh, tell me what you think, but would be to, to study all kind of um, respectable scripture whether it's Islam, Christianity, Buddhism, and then for themselves, see clearly which one stands true as the truth and coincides with the most things and is the most kind of accurate to the to the truth that you can see in the world. I would argue. Do you see what I'm saying? Foundationally, I don't have an issue with that, and it makes sense. Yeah. But how much time do we have? Yeah, well, it's true. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of re there's a yeah. lot of books to read. There's I would argue you have the knowledge right now, yeah, to actually come to a conclusion if Islam is the truth and if you want to become Muslim, yeah. just through this one conversation right now. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm gonna. And the thing is, through a full exercise, through steps, and we're, yeah. we're gonna walk through it. Yeah. yeah? Before we look into religion, first we need to establish, is there a creator? Yes or no? I've had this conversation with a brother, he said yes. <laughs> yeah? I said yes first anyways. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a competition lads, uh, who came first, who came second, yeah? yeah? So we both agree there's, there's a creator. Yeah. Yeah? Now, I'm going to give you a four line definition in the Quran of that creator. Yeah? It's in Surah Ikhlas, Surah 112. Yeah, okay. and it says, "Say Allah is uniquely one." What does that mean? Say Allah is one. There's nothing um, like you know. This is this is why I emphasize um, learning Arabic. Okay, yeah. Because yeah? yeah. you know, in Arabic, you say one is wahid. Yeah. Okay. This says, "Kulhu um, Allahu ahad." Say Allah is ahad. Yeah. Which means, like you know, if I say, "Here's one leaflet," yeah. here's a second leaflet. Yeah. Yeah. His, his one pen it implies there's going to be more. Yeah. Ahad means just singular. There's nothing to see here. Just nothing so before. Parts become one. No, 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 not even parts. It's just singular. Just nothing yeah. before, nothing preceding it, nothing That's coming. The it's just thing one. That singular. Exists. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Say Allah is uniquely one, one yeah. alone. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You have issue with that? You guys, you no, guys no. don't believe in what, multiple gods. Go what, what I was going to say is, that I, yeah, I think it's a, a good idea to learn Arabic because it's like there's certain um, concepts that you wouldn't even be able to grasp if you didn't yeah. know the language, right? No, no, like in you'll be able to grasp it, but you're not going to get the full fruits of it. Because like again, it, like it, I said, you've got the, you're going to have the knowledge now to, by the end of the conversation to make a decision if you want to embrace Islam. Yeah. 
I'm not going to teach you Arabic in this one conversation. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, nor do you need to know all of Arabic yeah. to become a Muslim. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, like the uh, the linguistics. You know, I said that. Look, one of the evidences of the Quran being from Allah Almighty, the Creator of the heavens and earth, is the linguistic miracles. I'm just giving a little flavor of it. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, for you to get the basic gist of it. Reading the English translation will be sufficient. Yeah. yeah. But when you go deeper into it and you learn the Arabic, you will blow your mind even further. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you imagine yeah. if I'm giving you an English translation and you're gonna be like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. It's imagine a... what would happen if you knew Arabic. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So it says, say Allah is uniquely one. Do we say? No, no, no. no, no like right, this, right, is, right, this right, is this right, is this right, is this is what the Quran right, says. Right, Does right, it make yeah. sense? Say Sorry, Allah is uniquely right. one. Yeah. yeah. Do you have an issue with that? Um, no. The first verse. You agree with it? No, but I don't, I don't, I don't massively take it understand it. I, agree, I, I respect it. I think I need saying. to read the context and read the. No, no, no. In the sense that it's given the it's a four line definition of Allah. Yeah. Because oh, you know, okay. I keep I keep saying the word Allah. Yeah. yeah? Because in Islam, um, I don't like using the word God because maybe you might think of something blue. Yeah. You might think of an elephant with six arms. You might think of a stick or a statue. You yeah. might think of um, someone with long hair. Jesus Christ, who be God who became a man and died on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. We as Muslims reject all of those forms of God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't believe um, that God can become a man. Yeah. God, in the Bible says God created the world in six days, rested on the seventh. We separate ourselves from this. God doesn't need to rest. It makes sense. So most people, they'll say, oh, I don't believe in God. I'm like, define God to me. And I'm like, yeah, I agree. I don't believe in that either. I believe yeah. in Allah. Yeah. So Allah is saying, Allah is giving a four-line definition and saying, say Allah is uniquely one. Because you know you're saying you believe in God, you believe in the Creator. Yeah? I'm saying, is that I'm Creator one? The, yeah. Come on, man. Maybe it'd be wrong to say that I believe in God, because really, I believe yeah. in the possibility of a power that I can't yeah. yet understand. Did the universe create itself? You're not looking at God, bro. <laughs> no, no, the, the universe created itself. Because oh. again, I've had I, this I conversation. I've set, I've set the foundation with the brother, and he agrees. So we've got to this point now. So you can't tell me that because the you creating yourself, the universe creating itself. Right? That's a question the Quran asks. Yeah, the Quran, crea the universe creating itself is the same as a mother giving birth to herself. It doesn't make sense. The universe creating itself is like it didn't exist. It came into existence. To create itself, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So the universe didn't create itself. I don't mean to pressure you, but the clock is ticking. Yes or no, sir? No, I, I don't think you're going to get a straight answer on me on this. One. No, 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 I didn't challenge you. Give me, give me, give me your logical. Because the fact of the matter is, right? The premise I've already set with your brother is, it's more logical and rational to believe in a creator than not to believe in a creator, than to believe the universe created itself. It's more logical and rational to believe in a creator, something with intelligence, something with power, something with will, something independent, something outside of the universe that created the universe. You have a very good well, argument. What about? <laughs> yeah. who, so just, just very quickly. The creator create himself. No. No, no, no. Very good question. That's, that's a very good the question. Thing that I was struggling with. It's like, very good question. Start? Very good off, question. Yeah. They're like, um, who created God? Yeah. Or did the creator create himself? By definition, Allah is uncreated. Yeah. Yeah? When you ask the question, did God create himself? Did Allah create himself, right? It doesn't make sense again. Yeah. Yeah? Because, wait, did Allah create himself? So who created Allah? Yeah. And then where did Allah come mm. from to create himself? Yeah. So at one moment he didn't exist, came into existence to create himself. Otherwise yeah. he becomes part of the creation and you're gonna cut and then you're yeah. gonna keep asking. So there has to be uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Allah says it's like Allah the flat earth thing with the turtle on top of a turtle, what's underneath? It's just more turtles. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> said Allah said Allah Khaliqu kulli shaykh. Allah is the creator of everything. Okay. So if you're gonna question who created God, that means you categorize them in the creation. Okay. So he has to be the creator is different from the creation. But yeah. now you're going into something that I can't really fully understand you out, 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 as a concept, you know what I mean? My brain can't fully grasp. I think you get it, go on. Yeah, yeah, fully, not, fully not fully grasping his existence does not mean he doesn't exist. Yeah, I get that, yeah. Do, do, you, do you get the point, yeah? Yeah. 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 And again, like I said, you guys have got the foundational intelligence 
because through the limited interactions I've had, I can tell, like, look, you guys got the basic tools. to be open-minded and respectful about all different cultures. No, no, being being open-minded is one thing. Yeah? Having the intelligence to make the decision if Islam is true is something different. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. People might have several biases. People might just not have the mental capacity, intelligence to actually deduce the information that's being presented to them. Yeah. yeah? So you're already at advanced level to not to believe in a fake God. Yeah. You already have an advanced level not to reject God in his totality and a creator. Yeah. Now it's like, okay, what creator do we believe in? Does that make sense? Yeah. And then we're going to go into religion. So, um, do, do you feel satisfied? That, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like if I read it, I'd have a better understanding. Because like you said, if the Quran is like mm. the true message and it's unaltered, and I should be able to come you know, to these. Exactly. Yeah. To these and that's the only reading. way to kind of go forward. That's the only and best way to go forward is just to start reading, isn't it, basically? That's to affirm and, yeah, definitely. No to doubt. go to the script, like, to go yeah. to the scripture and just, yeah. just read but it I wanna, and see what I want to like. motivate you more to read it. I, wanna, <laughs> I want you to leave the conversation being guaranteed paradise. Because both of you, I don't, I don't think you realise that you said it. They're like, Islam makes the most amount of sense. Of all the religion, Islam, I believe, is the most true. Like, oh, I agree with you. I don't know if I could necessarily say that for sure. By the way, sorry, I, I don't mean to misquote you because yeah. that's something your brother said. Yeah, yeah. And I, I heard you kind of touched upon it there, but I don't know I if that's... I have a lot of respect for it. There's, I, yeah, haven't maybe that's what you said. I haven't found a value yet where, I, where I'm like, I, I don't have 